Okay. Hello guys. This is gonna be a bit of a different video. Um, I've been wanting to do this. Wanting and not wanting. I have mixed feelings about like complaining. Uh, there has been uh, for a long time a trend on complaining about the state of the game and Blizzard. Uh, this is not gonna be it, but it still involves complaining. It's gonna be a bit of a rant about the state of the game and uh, not just the state of the game and Blizzard, but the state of the community. Um, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Well, I'm gonna start with something that might sound obvious, but uh, I feel like nobody has ever talked about it or like approached it in this direction. So, why are the last two seasons of Dragonfly being so dead compared to before? Dragonfly was doing great before, and it's been starting to be dead in season 3, and I mean, I'm no prophet, but I kinda called it. I kinda called it when Season of Discovery came out. And you might see where I'm going with this. I think one of the biggest problems within World of Warcraft as a whole game is that there is so many versions of the game and people keep pushing for new versions, multiple things to do outside of the main game which is supposed to be Dragonflight. Now, whatever problem you seem to be having with Dragonflight is never gonna be solved if you are playing another version of the game because you're paying the mom subscription and you're playing something else so if they make plunderstorm and everybody starts playing uh, plunderstorm and everybody still complains about dragonflight issues why would they even fix dragonflight you're playing plunderstorm and the next time is going to be a new game mode and before that was dragon was uh, Season of Discovery, and before that it was Hardcore, and they keep remaking the game over and over, which uh, I think it's not very healthy for the state of the actual game, which is retail for me. Now, obviously a lot of people are like turned off from playing retail, and a lot of these people are really just misguided, honestly. Uh, as for streamers, streamers are different players, it's completely different for streamers. I, This is my theory, is that Classic and Hardcore uh, hold more value for streamers because they have more time to talk with their chat and interact with their chat. The game is relatively easier and has a lower le learning curve. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone with this. Uh, this is the truth though. Like Retail is definitely harder as a game. And of course that doesn't mean that being the best mage in Classic means that you are bad as a player. I'm just saying it's more accessible. You have more stuff to do even though you have less objective and less goals, you have like you feel like you're doing stuff all the time because your leveling takes longer, you meet more people, um, you have more value into guilds. Like some of the basic stuff, it works better for players. While modern WoW has a strange approach of just being a solo player because you just pug everything and then you will never meet those players again, maybe. So you don't really want to form bonds and connections. Um, but I'm going off topic with what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say is that if people keep going with this trend of just playing whatever Blizzard releases, especially Plunderstorm is the biggest example, I've seen countless complaints about Plunderstorm just being bad, annoying, boring, waste of resources, but people still play it because they want the renown, they want whatever objective, achievement, or trasmo, pirate trasmo they get out of that. Um, I'm sorry, but you're like one of the biggest reasons why shit doesn't get done in retail. Like, why would they even bother fixing retail when they can release some meme game mode tomorrow and you will play it for some random tabard or random title, right? Why, why would they care? This is a problem that started a long time ago with achievements and collectors. Now I always fought against pet battles, pet collectors achievement hunter stuff like that not because i don't think that those those things don't belong into the game but because i could see this pattern starting a long time ago with like blizzard pushing more and more into like competition and collectors more than actual gameplay and um, nowadays the game is good 
but it could definitely be better like there's many things that could be fixed into the game and it's frustrating because it feels like it will take less time to fix those issues than make plunderstorm but will those things like gain people on retail make people come back to retail i don't know but plunderstorm is a good example of like people will just play anything for like cosmetics cosmetics that they may not even use anymore they will just boast in 20 years that they played it and they have the the pirate set i guess um Another example I can make is whatever I'm talking, even with friends with that play the game kind of like me, they are like, I don't gain anything from playing BGs. There's no benefit for me for playing BGs. Why would I do that? And the obvious answer that I usually give is, well, to have fun. And usually we get into an argument how much like I find fun when I get camped by pre-mates or like uh, my team is like undergeared. Those games happen, but they are not every game. I, I have a lot of fun playing BGs, so it's not always like the case, right? It's not always the case that... Um... Sorry, I was checking if the microphone is working because <laughs> I don't know how many times I record stuff with the microphone and it's always turned off at the end when I finish the video. I hope this is not turned off. Um... I have a lot of fun playing BGs. I really enjoy BGs for many reasons, and I explain them many times on stream. Well, the main, the main reason I enjoy BGs over Arena is that Arena feels way more telegraphed for, to me. Like, it has one clear objective, which is killing the enemy team, or like killing one of the enemy players, and that's about it. And the, the rest is just execution, cooldown trading, and stuff like that. And I know I'm not a rank 1 player, so some of you is gonna be are gonna be like, well, you're not rank 1, so you should not talk about this, but... I don't know, it just feels doesn't it doesn't feel fun for me. So I always went for the BGs because like I start a BG and my first approach is usually can I team fight this? Okay, I go for team fight. Are we winning team fight? Okay, we push team fight and objective. We don't win team fight? Okay, I force the team the enemy team to split and try to either ninja cap or for like going for off objectives and I try to put pressure on other bases and that seems to be working usually. And I try, usually I try to develop tactics over every BG, specs that it works better on every BG for mage. But often when I stream, I will try to try hard and make clips more than winning the BGs, which is like not very good. Um, I still close around 70% win ratio, which is fairly good, considering that at least 10% of my games are filled with like pre-mates or sitting shore. Or BGs that already started. But... Um, what I wanted to say is that I feel like people have cause and effect backwards. Like, it's not like... Look, they put effort into Arena sometimes. Sometimes, because like, even Arena is not very... is pretty much ignored. But it's still more like taken seriously than BGs. Because the community took it seriously. The, 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 the rank 1 players, the BlitzCon champions, the Twitch streamers, the content creators, everybody pushed Arena. Therefore, Blizzard made Arena the primary PvP content, and they made cosmetic and gladiator mounts, titles, and stuff like that. Uh, so if more people played BGs, we will see fixes for BGs way more often. So if you're like, I don't see the reason to play BG, well, if you're not having fun in BG, don't play them. But if you're having fun and your your purpose is just collecting cosmetics, maybe your mindset is wrong. And you should just play what you like, and eventually the rewards will come more naturally than instead of being pushed on not even the game anymore, because Season of Discovery is just another version, and Flanderstorm is basically another game, and tomorrow it could be another game again, and it will force you to download that, and you will play it for the cosmetic. And you're like, why do I get cosmetic playing this, or maybe even more gold or more something, but I don't have any fun? And while I play, what I I want to play something that makes like the game fun for me, but I don't gain anything. Well, you should focus on having fun in the game. You should focus on having fun, and the rewards will automatically come sooner or later, probably later. But uh, I think it's a it's a better approach than not playing the game and hoping the game will be fixed while still paying the game and trying whatever Blizzard throws your way. It, it's just not working for me. 
a lot of people whisper me and ask me like did you try Plunderstorm? did you play season of discovery i didn't the first time that i got asked this was mostly because i didn't have any time for work but now uh, i mean I prefer to play Mage PvP. Mage PvP is everything for me. It's the, the funniest part of the game. And I could play other classes that I find enjoyable, like Shadow Priest. I think like Shadow Priest is, is a very interesting class because it's not easy and it's very rewarding when you pull stuff off. That's how the game is interesting to me. It's not when the game is easy or like when the game is uh, like too much accessible. And that is another entire problem like that is being discussed on the forum about buttons. There is too many keybinds. I don't know guys. I disagree, but I agree. Like I disagree because I want more keybinds every time. I want more options. But I understand that for new players it's very fucking hard to get used to like 80 keybinds and modifiers and it's very fucking hard. Okay? Arcane Mage is a very advanced class because it has many keybinds. Well some other classes are fairly easy because you get benefit from doing one thing like i don't know i don't want to shit on people like saying this but metamorphosis is basically i believe is just a, a defensive and offensive and mobility and it gets you immune and you get my point right spells that have multiple effects and you have no reason not to use them right it's like polymorph is a conditional crowd control you have to cast it you have to fake cast often even if you hit you're healing your enemy and even if you're like oh you can play master shepherd yeah sure i mean i can pick the talent but then i'm still dispelling the dots from other people and it gets broken very easily and even then it can be trinket right so it's a it's a very counterable mechanic while spells like eruption have no real downside to using them you just use eruption and you use dps rotation that's why dh is a more straightforward class and easier to pick up even for beginners and i don't mean to say that i can play demon hunter better than trinacetate of course i'm just saying that it's an easier class to pick up compared to arcane arcane is one of the hardest class for me and i know right now i'm not playing anything else but in my back in the day i used to play every class at a decent level around 2k MMR, even 1v2 in arena and I don't do that anymore mostly because I don't enjoy arena so no matter how many rewards they give I will never play arena basically uh, sometimes I try for cosmetic a little bit it's still pvp in the end of the day but I really don't enjoy it usually especially soul shuffle is an example that I really don't enjoy um, this whole rant started because I want dragonfly to be better and I don't have a solution, I'm just telling you that if your mindset is just playing for cosmetic and playing, especially playing something that you don't enjoy, you're giving the wrong message to Blizzard. You think that they're gonna listen to the feedback that you post on the forum when you're playing Season of Discovery and you complain about retail? Why would they do that? They should focus on Season of Discovery if you're playing Season of Discovery. They will focus on BG if you play BG. And they will focus on pet battles if everybody's playing pet battles, guys. It doesn't matter what you say on the forum, unless you are like Asmongold and you can just make a video and everybody is gonna agree and maybe Blizzard will listen, then no. Uh, I don't think that feedback works like that. Feedback is like, where people go, Blizzard will just develop on that. And that is why retail is dying. I mean, it's always been dying for ages, but that is the main reason, is that people will quit retail to play a downside version of the game that is just easier to get access into but they will still complain about retail like how is retail gonna get any better if you don't give it even a chance the gearing system is great the crafting system is great uh, some like the Warcraft logs is telling me that raid is very fucking balanced it's one of the most balanced state we ever had uh, there is definitely problems I'm not saying that Dragonflight is perfect there is way too many micro CC's and there is some issues with mobility of course like I, I keep seeing people complaining about mobility but whatever people pointed to the arcane mage mobility I'm like I don't know guys I struggle to kite some classes as an arcane mage so I'm, I'm like okay if you're a warlock and a shadow breeze I can feel your complaint but if you're a demon hunter or a wind walker or a warrior like I don't know man I struggle I struggle to get those classes off me like for a solid 20 seconds warrior can shut me down i have to go through every every one of his tools so if he's alone i will end up on top of him at the end of all those cooldowns but if he's getting any fucking help warrior is fucking oppressive to like face nowadays 
and it has been for a long time, but I mean, um, I try to avoid this confrontation with Skardrex because he's such a cool guy. I don't want to like uh, argue with him about this. Uh, I don't agree with his point of view. And I did try Fury Warrior because I prefer Fury over Arms. I feel like Fury is more enjoyable for me. And I played at 1.6 in solo shuffle by smashing my head in the keyboard. I wanted to see how far I could go in terms of uh, not paying attention to what I was doing. I got around 1.6. Uh, I thought I could get 1.8, but I couldn't. I guess it's harder than I thought, but I don't know if I, what was I doing. I was just spamming Death Wish until I had max stacks and I would jump in and throw all my bursts, Odin's Fury, whatever that was. Uh, I think it was even playing like Spare of but I don't even know if my build was correct. I was just smashing buttons and I got 155, like 1550 or 1.6. Uh, it's not a real good goal, but let me tell you, Mage is fucking harder to get there. Like considering how much knowledge and practice I had on Mage, I struggled more getting 1.6 on Mage and Warrior, even though like uh, I, I got 1.8 six months ago and I quit instantly because I knew that Solo Shuffle is not a game mode that I want to play. I got 1.8 in two or three days. I played until cap. Then the next week I played until cap, and the next week I played until cap. This was like two, three days, and I got 1.8, and then I quit. And I, I even, even during solo shuffle, I quit some solo shuffle games because I was like Hunter, DK, DH, Fury Warrior. And no fucking way, I'm gonna play that. It's too tilting. It's not fun. If it's not fun, I'm not gonna play it. It doesn't matter if Blizzard gives me like a free WoW token. If I win an arena, I'm not gonna play it. Okay. I enjoy more going to work for 16 hours a day and getting enough money to buy 5 gold, like five WoW tokens. And WoW tokens is another big problem in the game. I, I made a point of never buying a WoW token before I got banned. Now that I got banned I have zero income of gold and I refuse to do the same dailies that I used to do and unlock everything and so I just bought a WoW token. I kinda ruined myself there. Um, there's many things that I wanna talk and complain and give my feedback about. Um, I could have played a BG while doing this, but I feel like if I was doing that I would not be focusing on the topic. I would be just like getting absorbed into the gameplay of just pew pewing in BG. Um, I could have done this on stream, so I could get at least a and a Q and answer in my chat. Um, well, the bottom line is that I really don't have any hope for the future of World of Warcraft, like the, the War Within or new season that is coming out in a week. I don't really believe that anything good is gonna happen, because, let's be honest, who's gonna play it in two weeks? Nobody's gonna play it. The bracket is gonna be dead. So, and the reason for that is that there is nothing new, right? What What is the point? There's nothing new coming, new stuff for PvP, there's no new BGs, there's no new nothing. So I can totally... Oh, that, that is some dog shit items. Uh, 460, yeah, that is low as fuck. Oh, they're taking this, I guess. And... Uh, for example, they announced that they're gonna remove the the vault from PvP in the War Within. Why don't they remove it now? The vault system is terrible, and I'm telling you, I'm gonna tell you why. It's because people will uh, will. This is always a player issue, actually. It's not a system issue. Systems are very good, but then players happen, and players have a different mentality than what Blizzard expects them to have. Like what this implies that you play content and you gain this reward. But what people will do is maximize this by playing the content that they are best at to gain rating and then they will cap the vault in uh, rated BG. But they won't play rated BG seriously at all. Either that or they will buy boost or they will make uh, one shot groups that they play once a day and the bracket is always dead. And every time you join it takes hours of looking for group to enter a 1.4 game and then you are facing rank 1 players. Because the enemy side is all like Link Oat, Link Ota, 3k Rider, r r like 3k XP leader, and they destroy your team. And playing against good player should feel like a good thing, but because the, the disparity between your team and their, it feels like it's not even playing. 
right? Nobody wants to play a rigged game that is decided before the gates even open. And Rated BG has been like that for ages. Nobody's even pushing, right? Like, what's up with that? People are sitting at 2k MMR and they're not pushing. Nobody's trying to get a 3k MMR for some reasons. Everybody's just sitting at 2k, getting everyone down, and then selling boost. And that's the, the that's a player issue, honestly. I feel like it's a player issue, and I don't know how Blizzard can fix that. Um, now, I'm, I want to go more into the player mentality and approach towards PvP, especially for Arena. This is just me, this is my theory, and it could be wrong, but I believe that almost nobody enjoys Arena. And if they do, the majority of time, they don't show it. They really show negativity and, and toxicity. And I'm not saying that they flame people, I flame people. I'm saying that they have this distorted idea, a lot of them, that they have to play Arena to prove that they're, that they're better than everybody else with the rating. And that they will try to convince you to play arena because otherwise if the more people that play arena the more arena matters if nobody plays it if you're the only one playing something nobody cares so they will try to convince you that you have to play arena if you're a pvp player but i'm telling you if you are not enjoying it you really don't have to like and every time i see conversations about that like mmr injection like we have to like convince Blizzard to inject more MMR so that people will will be more inclined to play. I understand that. Like, I understand your approach with this. Like, it will convince more people to queue because they are chasing that MMR. But how many of them are enjoying the game? You know how many people I see that force themselves to swallow content that they don't like instead of focusing on what they enjoy about the game? And then they will force themselves to play Arena rage in arena and quit the game and call the game bad but was the game bad or you played something you'd never even enjoyed <laughs> why why are you forcing yourself to play solo shuffle what to prove the guy on the forum that you're right about uh, your 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 feedback that doesn't prove anything and i will make an example for why it never fucking matters i have conversations on the forum all the time and every time the the conversation shift towards check pvp and they check my rating and they're like you're just a rival or you're just duelist expert it doesn't matter and you know why because i will say something like well mage is doing bad this patch and they will say you can't say that because your rating is bad and i'm like okay that's that is your opinion but that is wrong for me i play mage and i feel like mage is not doing very well and and the proof is like for example i say there's not that many mages playing like it's one of the least played class in the game right now. And they will say that my rating is bad and I'm not entitled to an opinion. But what if I had good rating? They will say, you say that, but your rating is good. So your class is carrying you. You're not good. Your, your class is good. So you see, there is no real point of chasing that rating. If, if you're doing it just to be right about uh, being the better player, it doesn't mean anything. It just proves nothing. Nowadays, there is no real way to determine if a player is good or bad just by looking at him. You have to play against him more than once usually to know if he's actually good or not. And I'm telling you, there is people with insane stats in the game and when they are pinned against situations that they have never faced, they are noobs. If they are, if they are used to play 3S Arena with a healer behind at high rating, they won't be able to defend Lumber Mill. <laughs> that, that's a different game, right? And, uh, and when I say noob, I don't mean it in a in a way to insult them. I just mean that there is people that play BGs that are specialized in playing BGs that have more experience. And then there is people who even specialize in BGs and have insane 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 stats on the armory, like insane win ratios and everything. And let me tell you, most of these won't even be that good either. I've seen people with insane win ratios being terrible at the game because they will either quit every match that they are losing and that doesn't show on armory or they will play pre-made all the time so the games are absolutely rigged at the start and every time I face them 
I feel like a lot of them don't even know the basics of the game, but they win every game they play or they quit every game they lose. So what I want to say with this is that there is no real way to like inspect someone and determine if he's good or not. There really isn't. I've been beaten by some 1.6 player multiple times and then I've literally 1v2 rank 1 players. There is no real way to determine if someone is good or bad unless just playing playing them and good players used to do this all the time in Mr. Pandaria. You used to face good players and there was mutual respect very fucking often. You will face people who are good and when they were in a hard spot being focused by four people and getting trained, you will leave them alone for pure respect. Every time I see one alliance going to Orgrimmar and trying to kill people, I never fucking go to kill them, because I know that 70 old players are gonna try to kill them and I respect that he wants to do a 1vx, so I won't jump in and gank him. Ganking is no real PvP, so I avoid ganking almost every time and every time I'm winning a BG by a long shot and we end up under the enemy graveyard, I usually just alt up and watch YouTube and it's very fucking boring for me. I don't want easy win, I'd rather have hard loses. But I understand, I'm a different player, not everybody can have this mindset. Not everybody can enjoy the game by losing. And of course I don't always enjoy the, go the game when I'm losing, sometimes I don't. But because I lose, I can enjoy the win way more often. I hope that made any sense to you. Now remember that my, my English is not like perfect. like. I hope my pronunciation were not like shit and I'm still hoping the microphone is open and I recorded all of this and if you made it this far this is just the tip of the iceberg this is in my head all the time uh, I care and love this game a lot and I want this game to be better and I try my best to promote it and help new players all the time and of course I have people in the comments that are like, well, you kill new players. Well, I can't really avoid killing enemy players in BG, guys. And anybody complaining about gear, bro, it takes one day to be geared. Two days top. I could prove it. I may, if, if people really want, I will prove it at, at some point, how fast you can get gear in this game. It takes absolutely no time. Uh... Then again, my goal is to grow my audience to a point where I can actually make the difference between making events with like other content creators like Savix or Snoopy. Those two are like big content creators that used to make stuff. Snoopy definitely is the guy right now and Savix used to be. They have experience into making events. I'm a complete beginner. Um, but with the help of my community, maybe someday we can make a difference in the game. We can make events, we can help people, and we can make the game better by providing better feedback that will be listened. Fuck. Campfire. First feedback. Remove the campfire. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I can make examples. Like, look. Example. Dragon Shard of Knowledge. Why this cannot be purchased by Honor? There should be an option to buy it. I don't care if it's 15k honor for one. I don't care if it's 10k honor for one. There should be an option to buy it for honor. Why is honor capped at 15k? Who cares? There should be like a milestone of how much honor you gain during the season. There should be a mount for 1 million honor. There is. There should be multiple goals that you can work towards during your, your playing the game. There's just many examples that I can make. Of course, this is like... An example of a system that could work but that really depends on the mindset of people because if people are like playing for fun they will eventually get those goals done but if people are gonna just group up and camp a graveyard with flags all the time and ruin everybody's fun that is gonna be a toxic system but you understand that the system can be implemented and be good and then the players can literally abuse it achievement is another system that, that was implemented and didn't work uh, how it was supposed to because uh, uh, look, achievement is completion. You are like, oh, let me see in PvP what achievement am I missing? Right? You're like, oh, I don't have the title, the, this title, right? Master of Idol of Conquest and Master of Twin Peaks. I know I missed Cloud9, I got very close a few times to 7. I never really bothered with like trying hard with this. I was like, eventually I will get it. Um, but the problem is that most people 
will form teams and and crush the objectives so like that everybody has doesn't enjoy the game or they will make it so that bro you can't play twin peaks with us if you don't have all the achievements you, you're not master of twin peaks you can't play twin peaks that's how achievements are abused nowadays and when i say nowadays it's been like this for like 10 years uh, maybe more problem is that uh the community is just toxic and when i say toxic i don't mean like people telling you to go fuck yourself that is perfectly normal in every game and i think it's even healthy to some extent uh saying the f word should not get you banned definitely uh, the problem is that if you want to raid you need to have raided already if you want to do break bg you need like a warlord or you can't play the game so that is why everybody's buying boost that is why everybody's just quitting uh, Nobody wants a, a system like that, but when they made the system, it was not thought about like that, right? That's just player behavior, and you can't have a really correct player behavior. People really need to man up and start looking themselves in the mirror and be like, maybe I am part of the problem with this. And I'm not a perfect person either. But I'm just saying that... Uh, I dread... Like, I... I I don't have proof right now, but I've been way more chill about a lot of shit than most people I know. Like, when I want to push, I want to push. If I'm playing a plus 20 key, I want to play a plus 20 key and time it. But if I go in a 15 to farm, I'm okay with wiping, I'm okay with it taking an hour. Helping others is always good medicine. And the same goes for raiding. When I raid, I don't give a fuck if I take 8 hours to raid, if we wipe multiple times, replace people, stuff like that. I care if we replace people. I mean, I meant when people leave and we get new players, I don't care if we have to wait. I care if people get kicked for bullshit reasons, that I do care. Uh, I'm gonna say the work of World of Warcraft has to be like a third of my life by now. The other third is like making pizza and sleeping. <laughs> and I want to play this game for another 10 years. And I really hope it goes somewhere with my YouTube channel and my stream and I hope I'm wrong with the war within and the next season of Dragonflight. I really hope I'm wrong. Well, the message in all this is that you should just play what you enjoy and stop trying to, like, play content you don't like only because someone is telling you to. This is the... this is the... If I have to summarize, like, everything, if I have to, like, give a message about this whole video, is that... I am tired of seeing the situation where, like, someone enjoys Dragonflight, or, like, wants to play Dragonflight, but then they're like... I have to play arena and to play arena I cannot play this class or this spec like oh I wanna play frost mage but your team is like you have to play fire and you're like but I don't wanna play fire I want to play frost yeah but fire is gonna be easier okay then I will play fire and then you play fire so you play a spec you don't want to play in a content you don't want to play and then you don't enjoy it and then you end up quitting and telling everybody that the game is bad but the game was not bad the environment was bad maybe but not the game of course if you don't play what you want and you don't play the content that you like you're gonna end up quitting and say and thinking the game was bad it was not the game and it was not you it was just the mindset that people have and that you had in that moment it's not like you're not good enough, it's not like you're not... Like you're just not playing what you enjoy. I'm not even gonna listen to my own video. This is gonna feel so awkward when I upload it on YouTube. I don't even know if the microphone captured everything. Every time I record something with my voice, I just go into it and I'm like, okay, I had the microphone muted the entire time, didn't I? Well, this time it sounds like I have it opened, so I really hope I have recorded everything. And... I will see you guys next time.
also I'm probably gonna stream soon but by the but when when you see this video it's probably gonna be already the day after bless you guys if you made it this far I'm done rambling for a bit I got everything out of my system I think for now this is just one of the many things that I wanted to get out of my system and please don't link it to Asmon Gold or someone else please don't I just want the people that follow me to know this because I don't I first of all I'm really terrible at taking criticism second I would feel really embarrassed to have this non-scripted video to be broadcasted to like a, a bigger audience okay I would feel really really embarrassed because like I could have said some bullshit I didn't even plan to say um, I didn't script this so <laughs> it will feel a little like just ranting randomly to some people which might even be like that at the end of the day we just want the game to be better See you guys next time.